What's up, Brennan Smilly here from BrennanSmilly.com and EliteFTS.com. Another training log video here for you today. Week 8, Day 4 of meat prep. This is actually at the Elite FTS S4 compound. Uh, I had to travel out of town, do a speaking engagement, and it was only like an hour and a half or so away from Elite FTS, so I thought I'd go there to train for the day. Um, kept with the same work that I had planned. Uh, just made some changes to some variations that I was going to be doing using some um, things that Elite has that I do not have and uh, testing out some other stuff for them as well. So, uh, good day on that aspect. Still stuck with my uh, speed bench work. I um, used the collegiate rack considering I'm going to have one in about six weeks or so uh, once it gets shipped to me. So it's kind of wanted to get a feel of what it's going to be like to be able to bench inside of it. And just overall, the use of the rack itself, um, and I really liked it. So, very good day bench-wise, really good speed, um, good setup. So, solid day of benching. Um, as for accessory work, um, did some different things that I don't really have access to but still stuck with the main principles that I was trying to elicit originally in my program. Um, so I had some overhead pressing with uh, strip the rack, dead stops. Uh, really great movement if you have access to uh, some pins on a rack that you can actually have it stop on. Great tricep work and also a great way to uh, help build your shoulders and overall uh, speed from dead stop, so very similar to benching. Um, then I hit some neutral grip lat pull downs, uh, but I went with the mag grip attachment. This is something I've been kind of wanting to get, so of course I wanted to test it out first before I decided to purchase one. Um, very cool attachment, very friendly on your hands and grip, uh, which can be key when it comes to your uh, lower body training sessions. Um, Overall, very cool attachment, very comfortable. Different line of pull on your back as well compared to a standard neutral grip attachment because your hands are a tad bit wider and uh, the way your back can contract is a little bit different. And uh, I really liked it. So, definitely get one of these if you're looking for a new attachment. Definitely something you will be glad you picked up. Um, then, I also had uh, some seated cable rows. Um, I left the chains on there that were already there from somebody, I'm um, guessing Tracy or Dave, and um, this multi-grip attachment is another one that I've been also looking at. Um, this thing is super heavy duty, like a 15 pound attachment, um, definitely no joke and you're not going to find anything like this anywhere else. Um, enjoyed it, did a good job of uh, achieving what I wanted to achieve, which is constant tension on my back and increased rowing volume um, from all the benching. So, really another great attachment that uh, you should consider picking up if you're looking to get a new attachment. Then I tested out the new shoulder saver pad. Um, Dave's been working on this for a while, I know, as we have the bar, but he wanted to get a, a pad that you could just attach to the bar if you don't want to buy the whole bar. So I decided to give this a test run for him, and I will tell you right now that I've already told him to bill me for one as soon as they get them in stock. So, a very cool piece to use to replicate boards if you don't have the manpower for boards or you're looking for something similar. And it's heavy duty, but at the same time, still a bit soft, so you're not like beating the crap out of your chest when you go down. And I super excited that with some band press downs to failure, some mountain dog stuff. And that's really it for the day. Thanks for checking in, and as always, you can keep my training logs on EliteFTS.com.